Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Fantech Tips tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can blur video using KDN Live. More specifically, I'm going to show you how you can blur out faces from people uh, from videos. You can also use the same thing for objects or anything else that you might want to pixelize or obscure. I will I'm going to use KDN Live for this, which is a free video editor. It works on all the major Linux. It works on all the major Linux distributions. You can install it from the repositories, or you can follow the link from the description box down below. We're going to try and blur the face of this owl, uh, and I'm going to try to show you something that with the blur effect that's available in KDN Live you can set the blur effect so that it moves with the person's face uh, I've already opened the video but you can do this by clicking here selecting add clip clip will be added to this list here from where you can just drag and drop it to the video channel down below once you've done that, you can right click on the video, select add effect, go in the blur and hide section and select auto mask. You can see that an effect has already been added to the preview box on the right, but it's not in the correct position. <coughs> Excuse me. You can reposition it by double clicking moving the box. You can also change its size. It's important that it fills only the section of the video that you want to blur. Now in order to in order to make it move with the person's face you're gonna have to click on the analyze button so that it calculates all the necessary information that ne which it needs to move with the section of the video so that the blur effect moves with the section of the video behind it. Uh, it has finished now and we can try to see a preview. You can see that the effect moves with the, with the face. Now this might not work perfectly well always because sometimes the the person moves in in a section of the video where the back background is in the same color KDN Live uses the calculates the colors I think it calculates the colors so if you for, for example move behind something other than if if the this moved behind some other than something other than the blue background it would have been it wouldn't worked quite as well as it has now if it was a, if it were d if you were trying to blur a stationary object something that isn't moving this isn't a big of such a big deal you can just position it where it, wherever it is on the video and leave it there once that you finish select render choose the output format and r select render to file and you're done give it a try and see how it goes leave the comments uh, comments down below bye